Tinkley Point look from over here. See the dome? That lump of sand there, Steer Island, as the tide goes out, if more of it will show. There's one of the largest cranes in Europe apparently there. Station B, A and B. I've been in B in the past. Very busy. And I've taken pictures of Inkley Point. It's pier as well. On quite a few occasions now. I'll take a picture in a minute of it from up here. Then of course up um, all up there you've got Delbra Hill Fort on the Quandock Hills. And then of course further over we've got the Dunkery Beacon. Yeah, I walked all that. That's the bit I walked down to mine head. There's mine head. Somewhere down there, I reckon it is. Can't see for sure at the moment. I walked all along the coast. Then Porlock's behind there on Possington Hill. That's the other bit of cliff top I done along there. Look that busy. I think they've got to inject a load more money into it apparently. <sighs> Good clear day actually for photography. This steep home, it's quite clear. You can even see the museum. Quite clearly a building on the side there. Wells over there. Right. Right. So I'm going to be walking up the beach here. This is the sea defences. The waves come up and sort of curl round. Um, well, I lived here, we never had this, and Burnham was getting flooded all the time. But it's a good day for t photography, that's for sure. It's the best I've seen the hills and Dungree Beacon for a long time. Of course, I've climbed that. Climbed Dungree Beacon last year in 2018, I've done that. I done all the coast a couple of weeks ago. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, Burnham Beach for now, and then we're going towards Barrow. There's all the hills over there, the coast that I walked about two weeks ago. This time, two weeks ago on a Wednesday. I don't arrived on the Wednesday, so I hadn't. I'd just done a bit of the marsh and Porlock Beach on the Wednesday. So it's not even two weeks that I walk with the coast bit. There's um, Burnham Lighthouse. Redundant. No doubt it could be activated if it had to though. Like I said, I haven't been down here for a long time. There's the dunes. Yeah, yeah, they have been eaten away more. I lived for nearly 20 years, not far from it. Barrow Beach, Barrow. Barrow, but it was on the border with Burnham. It was more, it was classed as Burnham on Sea, but it was near, it was more or less in the village of Barrow, but it was on the sort of the edge, so. But for council tax reasons, it was under Burnham. I used to come down on this beach a lot with my dogs and the golf course looking for golf balls. Seems like a, a dream, actually, now. I've been away for 13 years. I've been down here since I am. I don't know if I've walked up here since I left, I'm not sure. Up this bit, I'm not sure if I have. 
I've still not cycling now and taking pictures around here since. Yeah, there's the lighthouse with the red stripe this side that you can't see from the other side. All the main Quantock Hills over there with da Dowborough Fort. Hill Fort, there's lots of hill forts up that, over that way anyway. Romans were over there as well. They're just doing a little bit of the beach. The scene would be roughly the same. The whole walk, so. <laughs> With Breen down getting closer and closer. Um, I have, I wanted to walk up up the beach though. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done it for several years. As far as I know, I haven't. Not this stretch. I might have done, but I can't. I've got no recollection of it. There might be an old video somewhere. Um, I might have walked into town. I might have got off the bus and walked into Burnham and done it that way around once. Um, I've got a feeling I have done it over the. I reckon I have. Just can't remember, and I don't know where the videos would be. They haven't popped up yet. So I do save everything. All boxed, damp proofed, air proofed, sealed for posterity. I used to do lots of copies in those days, three copies, and um, they'd, they'd be tested and then never touched. But I've also put a lot on um, YouTube. A lot on YouTube. Right, it's people coming. Right up in the distance we've got, I say, we've got Steep Home Island. Right up there, you can see the main building on there, which houses a museum and facilities for visitors. For the warden when they lived up there. Uh, well, so over there. Um, yeah. And then back out to sea. Over and out, for now. Another small video of my visit to Burnham on Sea up the beach. And this has got many, many memories. Many, many memories for... I walked here for 19 years. This has got such a significance for me and my children grew up here. That's what I mean. I don't come back very often. I find it quite sad, actually. I just walked down to the bridge a bit. Yeah. I used to walk this golf course every single day. Looking for golf balls every single day. Over there is um, Barrow Church. I knew this golf course backwards. And uh, there's the troll bridges, we used to call them. I'm not going across, I'm not going to Barrow. I'm just going to include this little bit in the video because of its historical significance to me and my children. And they still probably come here when they go out with their dad. I, he still lives in the village. And they take dogs for walks. But I don't know how often they would come this way. They might do a circular sometimes. <sighs> so many memories. So many memories here. It hurts. It actually hurts, actually, because... In many ways, I didn't actually want to leave my home, you see. It's hard being a single mum. We want the divorce and all that. And it was very hard for me to do. And I, I was still having the children. It was very hard. I held on as long as I could, you know. It was hard to leave in here. And I remember when I came back for a visit once, I drove down on the beach in my camper van. I walked this way and it was... It was heartbreaking because I kept thinking I was going to go home. I was going to drive my van into Hunter Drive. 
I still felt strongly a part of it and everything here and I felt I didn't particularly want to go it was very very scary that time in my life very scary having to cope with all that on my own basically had to split the family up and of course I've always said it once uh, I lost my home like that I mean I sold it I didn't lose it exactly I would have lost it it split the family and we've never been the same it disintegrated us that link that anchor point it was the anchor point this for 19 years yeah I it still hurts, but every now and again I come back, I come back, every now and again I like to come back, so it isn't a dream, it's still here, but there's a lot of pain, yeah there is, a lot of hurt inside, a lot of joy and a lot of hurt at the same time. I used to come down here with my dogs. We would do a circular. In the evenings we'd mainly do the golf course. Yeah, like I said, a lot of hurt, a lot of joy. My kids still see their dad, so they still have that little link here. Because he lives on the village green. And he's still got his dogs. So, <clears throat> but there's a when something hurts, you just want to, you just feel like getting away, you know, you feel like getting away from it. So I don't come back very often. Um, although I was here for a long time, there were, and there were bonds in many different ways but a lot of people moved away as well or died and so the, the bonds were weaker and um, yeah every time I, I pass the house um, it's like what Zora said she said mum it'll always be your house yeah our spirits are there the spirits of many many children many ch friends of my children Yes, it's true. It is true. Because this has changed. You know, there used to be a channel coming out here somewhere. A water channel. But I can see another pole up there, so I'm just going to go up there and have a look. If I can get up there, wait a minute, go around that way. People have found bombs and hand grenades and all sorts, you know, on Barrow Beach. It was um, heavily defended in the war, and every now and again something surfaces. I can remember when there was a hand grenade back there where I just come from, but the bloke reported it and somebody was coming out. God, look at this old pole. There is a path, I can still see a path down there. That's where there was like a ditch. Um, I don't know if I can still just walk up to it a minute and see if it's still there. <sighs> Memories, you see. Things grow over. The dunes have changed a lot. You used to be able to walk all along the dunes. They were much higher. <sighs> and down here, there was a it's probably still here. I think I can see a space. But I don't want to go down there. I don't want to pick up any ticks. It's a very ticky place um, around here. Um, but there's a gap down there. So. I thought that was awkward for a minute. <sighs> yeah, we'll go back down. <sighs> I 
It is probably somebody I know. <laughs> Sorry, it looked like my kid's dad. <laughs> he walks his dogs here. And he wears dark glasses. There's more people coming.